What's up guys, this is Dennis from Botster and in this quick video I'm going to show you a really simple tool that will help you easily find 100 phone numbers for a list of 100 companies or establishments that you're planning on reaching out to. As always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're into automation tutorials and would like to see more content from me. So again, what's going to happen? I'm going to take 100 company names and I'm going to feed that list to a script that's going to return a phone number for each company. Now, as the seed data, I will be using a list of US universities, which I extracted from this web page using our other bot that's called phone email and contact scraper there's a separate tutorial on that particular bot so make sure to watch it i left the link in the description of this video and now i'm just going to click on the view data button and grab the first 100 universities now as i mentioned i'm just going to work with their names Control c and to extract the phone numbers i'll be using the google maps scraper bot I'm going to search for that particular bot using our search bar at the very top of the website. Here it is, Google Maps Scraper. Of course, we have a separate tutorial dedicated to that particular bot, which you can watch to learn more about how this bot works and what are the mechanics of the bot and how to use it properly. But we're in a hurry. We need those 100 phone numbers. So I'm going to click the Start Bot button and just paste the list of those 100 university names in this input. As you can see, there's still 900 lines left, which means you can extract up to 1000 phone numbers in one go. But for this video, we're going to go with 100. And the last thing I need to do is select or actually keep this option selected. It's called grab first result only. So essentially what this bot is going to do, it's going to journey to Google Maps, run a search on each of the university titles and grab details on the first result it finds. Of course, there may be discrepancies in case there are two universities with a similar name or there is another establishment that's called just like that. So if I were to do this properly, I would actually add more keywords to each line. For example, I would add United States to the end of each name. So in this case, it would be Aquinas College United States. That way your results are going to be more relevant and the probability of obtaining correct contact data would be much higher. But again, we're in a hurry, so I'm just going to skip on that as well. And the last thing that you can do is set up your notifications. For example, you can ask the bot to email you the results once it completes the job. You can also connect your bot to Slack, Telegram. You can send yourself a JSON post request or send your results to Zapier and create some kind of complex automation sequence. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to click the green start this bot button and wait for my results to roll in. As you can see, the job had been created and is now active. If you've been enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons to support our channel. Okay, I fast forwarded the video slightly and you can see that the job is now completed. Depending on the server load, it can take longer or faster in this particular case it took the bot about three minutes so let's hit the view data button and see what we have as you can see the bot did exactly what i told you it was going to do so it went on google maps and searched for the queries that we provided and returned the first result it found for each of those now we're here for the phone number list so let's scroll this table right here in case you're looking for the websites, they're here as well. The phone numbers are conveniently listed right in this column. You can continue working with this table. For example, you can extract the emails of these universities by uh, grabbing their URLs and sending them to our 
email finder bot or if you're done and you just want the data you can now extract it as a csv excel or a json file you can open this table in your google sheets and of course you can change the privacy settings of this page make it public grab this link and send it to your colleagues this was probably my fastest tutorial by far. Thank you for watching it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.